Hey, Shalom and Markim, this is Karma Kapash from GMS London, giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Chakodash. I want to give double honors unto the elders, the apostles of GMS, and Shalom at there to the hopeful that expression is truth and all sincerity. Okay, back again with another video. This is just going to be a short one. You know, I was reading through um, Sirach here, chapter 14. And, um, you know, I might do another video on this chapter as well, uh, focusing on um, the righteous way. Because I'm going to call this one the wicked way Because I'm going to focus on uh, the wicked in, in Esau And you know how he's kind of set You know And you know this, this goes for anybody that has a wicked mindset But you know dealing with this devil who's in power over us right now Right he, Like I say he's, he's not here for you know Others benefits Right he's here for himself and You know That's why he's going to collapse this world man you know, That's why people on the earth are suffering under his rulership right now all right, so I'm just going to get into it, right? It says, um, let's start from verse 3. It says, riches are not comely for a niggard. Uh, and, and a niggard is, is someone that is like a screwed, uh, um, a miser. Someone who's, um, uh, you know, what they call that? You know, he, he what's that word, man? I can't think of that word right now, man. But he doesn't like to, you know... To, to, to give uh, his money out and help people and whatever. Now, you might say, oh, yeah, but Esau, he, he you know, so-called white man, he's doing so much in the earth. He's, you know, putting all this money into charity and you know, he's, he's putting all this money into you know, philanthropy, saving the planet. You know, he's giving benefits to people and that doesn't sound scroogey or miserly at all. But now consider this, right? <laughs> Esau, being with the top elite, right? They are beyond wealthy, right? They have all the wealth necessary and the resources necessary, the power, the influence, right? To correct everything that's wrong with this world, right? They can enforce laws. They can do all kinds of things, right? <laughs> and make this world a more righteous and more, um, a better place for everyone to live in. But they don't. Now, like I said, they might spend money on this and that. Oh, we, we donated 100 million to this, this charity, this noble cause and, and whatever but these this is nothing but literal chump change pennies to them really all right and all of it all of it is not to help it's not to help the environment it's not to help the poor people you know are oh, we going to build them wells and all this kind of business right no right what is really going on in such is, is, is actually something a lot more sinister than that right that's just a, a front for them to get more right to get more all right, to get more than what they had, more than the money they invested or, or whatever, it's an investment, right? He, he ain't doing it out of the goodness of his own heart and not planning on benefiting of it. Oh no, definitely not, right? It's so more control, more power, more wealth because this guy is so wicked in his mind that he doesn't want you to have anything. And I, you know, we keep talking about the WEF man recently because. They're, they're, they're the guys that, you know, that are set up doing all this madness right now. And they, they have, again, they have their slogan, right? You will own nothing. Okay, but they're telling you you'll be happy, right? Esau is so insatiable. As the scriptures say, he is as deaf and cannot be satisfied, right? He's so insatiable that he, he doesn't want no one to have anything, man. He wants everything for himself. That, that, is, that is a mind that is a screw. That is, you know, he, he, he won't have nothing. Right, so yeah, it says um, riches are not comely for a nigger. He shouldn't really have all this possession and wealth and power because he he can't he can't deal with it right. Right, only wickedness comes when he's got that. All right, riches are not comely for a nigger. And what should an envious man do with money? Right, what does an envious man do? With money? <laughs> what does Esau do with more money? He gain he gets more money. <laughs> Right? And he gets more, you know, possessions. He gets more control, more power, and that's all he does. But Esau does it to 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 crush the people, to crush the world. You know. It says he that gareth by defrauding his own soul, and like I say everything, you know, that he his ventures, right? It's all it's all scams. You know what I mean? All lies and forgery, and you know, causing people to sell out. You know, corrupt themselves. I mean, because they're corrupt already. You know what I'm saying? They got no, 
no morals per se. They they out to get what they what they can get with their power that the Satan's provided with them. You know, uh, provided them with. You know, so you know he has has done nothing but defraud the earth, defraud the people, and getting where he's got bloodshed, murder. You know, theft. All right. It says um he that gareth by defrauding his own soul gareth for others that shall spend his good righteously right so in the end as we say like Esau is going to be left with nothing everything that he's accumulated the scripture say you have gathered treasures together for the last days man okay but they should not you know they should, you know the, the just shall put it on okay that's another scripture but you know they're gonna lose everything you know and we're gonna take those things back from them. All right, because you know the tre our treasure is still in their possessions, man. You know, so we're gonna take all that back. It says, uh, verse five: He that is evil to himself, right? He out here doing all kinds of wickedness, man. He, he obviously don't care about his own soul because he going <laughs> he going to hell. <laughs> he going to live a life of hell. Okay, he going to be in captivity for a thousand years and 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 work to the work his ass to the bone, right? And then he's gonna be destroyed. Uh, you know, he obviously don't care. He don't care about his own people. You don't care about any people. The elite, these these elites, man, they're ruthless. All right, so they only care about themselves at the end of the day, right? But really, they don't because, like I said, you know, if they if they really cared about themselves, man, they wouldn't be you know getting into all this evil wickedness that they that, that they're getting into, knowing what's going to happen to them at the end. But they, you know, they obviously so puffed up and proud they believe that you know they can get away with all of this, and you know they're they're severely mistaken. All right. It says um, he that is evil to himself, to whom will he be good? All right. So he's not here trying to help nobody. He's trying to help himself. Okay, but it all ends in in death anyway, and he's leading everybody else on that path of death. That uh, MOTB when it when it comes out in full force, man, it's only going to lead everybody to death. Anyone that takes that chip, it's not to help you. It's not to feed you. To make sure that you you you, you survive and all that kind of business. No. It, it, you gonna do nothing like that. Alright? It says there there is uh, none worse than he that envies himself. Okay, one that's puffed up and proud. And he feels himself, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know? And that's Esau, because he, he you know, the way he looks at himself, these you know, these elites, it's not the peons, because obviously they're just to the, in, you know, in their eyes, you said eaters, man, cattle. But um these elites, man, they, they look at themselves, man, and, and think themselves to be gods, man. Okay, when they're just, you know, meat sacks, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Leprous meat sacks. You know? This is, um... This is, a, and this is a recompense of his wickedness. And if he doeth good, he doeth unwillingly. Like, you really think... Like, this is why, you, you know, you're getting, you know, the poor getting strangled and strangled as, as year goes by. You know, all the inflation and, and, and all this kind of stuff. Uh, Esau don't want to give you benefits. He don't want to really help you out of anything. He don't want to... He doesn't want to. It's not... If he didn't have an agenda, you know, for, for more things, for more power, more wealth, more riches, he wouldn't be giving you shit. Okay, I promise you, right? He wouldn't be giving you nothing to help you, man. He wouldn't care about whether you could afford the heating or not. You ain't going to get no handouts. You wouldn't get any handouts from him, man. If it wasn't that he had an agenda, you know, and for that one, he's just making you more reliant on on the system. And because eventually, when this whole place goes down, he go you gonna be in a mindset that I can rely on the government. The government is gonna help me. And yeah, they're gonna help you, and you're gonna take this, you know, C hip, and and you know. You're gonna put trust in the government. That's the, that's the thing. That you think the government in 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 tough times is gonna help you. You're gonna trust in that. You know, you're gonna put your trust in Yabash and Yonshai. You're gonna put your trust in Esau and his governments. That's what he wants. All right. That will be a, a stupid move. You know, but like he's going around the world, the world. You know, making people people more and more carnal, less and less spiritual. So you know, people are not waiting on the savior that they can't see. They're going to look to Esau to save them. You know, effectively becoming their God. You know? This is, um, 
An envious man have a wicked eye. It's like a verse 7 again. And if he doeth good, he doeth it unwillingly. And at the last, he will declare his wickedness, right? So that's what you're going to find out. You're going to find out the MO of all of this. It, it weren't just some conspiracy theories. This is actually what is going to materialize. Oh, we didn't know. <laughs> we, we, there was no evidence. There was no proof. We didn't have it on the record that, like, that these men you know, were going to do that. Bro, you don't, you don't put your secrets out there. You know what I mean? Like, you're, trying to, you're trying to enact some plan. You don't have your secrets out there, man. You have a, a bunch of misdirection. If your secrets out, you put, you put you throw a whole bunch of misdirection out there too, and that's what he's so good at, you know. Because I said he, the, the, this truth, man, it's out there. This knowledge is out there. The most high has revealed it, man. But whether you can receive it or not, you know what I'm saying. So we find out things and and, and you know with these elites and stuff like that, and you know you, you pick the the meat from the bones because it ain't all true, right? For sure. But this is why the you know. You have to anchor everything through the scriptures. You have to filter everything through the scriptures, man. Okay, and see what makes sense and what don't make no sense. All right, because the, the scriptures is the truth. All right, that's going to lead you along the path of, of truth, of knowledge, right, and understanding. All right, so when we see certain things go on, it's like, oh, yeah, this, this got coincides with that. This coincides with that prophecy. You know, we see where that's going, what they're developing, what they're trying to achieve. All right. So in the end, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna find out the plan. You know, everybody want want all this type of evidence and sure facts. Well, you oh, you know, what I mean, you're not gonna you're not gonna get it until you get it. You know, you get it. <laughs> you understand? All right, until you're in a concentration camp somewhere. <laughs> you know, this is um verse eight. The envious man have a wicked eye. Yeah. He's, he's still got that wicked eye, man, that covetous eye. All right, he turneth away his face and despises men. He hates, he, it's not me. Truly, Esau hates everybody, man. And this is why he, he can't just, he can't deal with a guy like this. This is why he needs to be removed from the earth, man. He's just a hateful fucking bastard, man, from, from, from you. You know what I'm saying? From, from birth. All right, and the scriptures also say, man, that um, he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, what, he's, a, he's a liar from the womb. He, he's just born, he is the wicked. He's just born this way. He just hates, he's hateful. Which is funny because he's one of, you know, pushing all these fucking, these these hate groups and, you know, anti-hate groups and shit. Like, he is the most fucking hateful being on the planet, man. And his history will tell you that. His history shows you that he's the most hateful fucking creature on the planet, man. And yeah, these other humans, they've done some nasty shit, man. Even, even Israelites, we've done nasty shit to each other and, and whatever, right? But Esau is inherently hateful, man. He's the wicked. Right, and, and this world doesn't need him. Doesn't need his like. That's why the Most High is going to remove him from the earth, man, after he's served his punishment. Esau certainly has a, a perpetual hatred for us. So what's that in Amos? You know, he has a perpetual hatred for, for, for Israel, man. He is a hateful being, man. But he's out here parading and acting like he's the one that loves everybody. That's that's it's, it's the fucking lie. It's, you know, it's the opposite. But it makes him look good, and this is what he, that's what he concentrates on doing, looking good, you know, for the most part, you know, to make him look like un, an unsuspecting criminal. You know what I mean? You don't, you don't, well, you don't think it's gonna be this guy, you know, the one that is smiling, wearing a suit, kissing baby. You know, he look, he look respectable. He's still trying to look respectable out here, like he's trying to do everything right. You know, that's why he becomes a philanthropist. He look like he's trying to help, trying to do things. But that's not really what he's trying to do. It's just a facade that he uses to beguile the people. And everyone's going to see it, man. You're going to see his true nature in the end. You, you know, as I say, he would, at his last he would declare his wickedness. You're going to see it all. And you're going you're gonna to find out we, we were right about this devil this whole time. Right? This is, um, this is a covetous man's eye is not satisfied with his portion. Like Esau... I say the scriptures say that he is his death, right? And cannot be satisfied. He's not happy with his portion. And Esau would have been cool if he just stayed in his lane. Just accepted the fact that he went the chosen. You know, he was cast aside and Jacob was chosen to be the bearer of the promise. But no, right? No. Esau had to go on hyper hyper devil devil mode, right? 
and decide that, you know, this inheritance, this land that Eden I've gotten, this kingdom that I have, it's not enough. I'm going to go around the whole fucking earth and destroy and enslave as many people as I can and take their land, take their resources and, and, and have control over them. <laughs> that's, what he's, that's what he's doing, man. You know? Because he wants something that he can't get. He can't have. He's not meant to have. Okay, which is an everlasting kingdom. And, you know, power over the whole earth. That's not meant for you. you you're meant to have power over the earth for a time period. Okay, and evidently that time is coming to an end now. Yeah, but you're fighting too from now to try and keep hold of it. Good luck with that. You know, as, 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 as you know, as futile as that is. Because, you know, there's nothing you can do about it. You know, when your Howard Shire turns up now, that's it, you're screwed. You're done for. You know? Your Howard Shire ain't gonna let you off the hook, man. You're going down in a bad way. In a bad, bad way. Okay, then chains are getting slapped on, man. And you ain't gonna know nothing else for a thousand years but, but hard fucking labor, man. You ain't gonna remember when you was in power. You know? <laughs> and then <laughs> you ain't gonna remember nothing. Because <laughs> you ain't gonna be around. You know? It says, a covetous man's eye is not satisfied with his portion, and the iniquity of the wicked drive up his soul. A wicked man, a wicked eye, envieth his bread, and he is a niggard at his table. Oh, stingy was the word. That's what I was looking for earlier. Yeah, my eyes are sting, somewhat stingy. Not like sharing. <laughs> right? Um, yeah, okay. So that, that's it. My verse 10 is what I was going to read up to. Like I said, it goes on speaking about the, the righteous way. So, you know, I might come back and do another part of this and um cover that but yeah but yeah man that's, that's you know that's the wicked way man that's how Esau be acting man you know and then this this is why like i said this devil's got to go man he's just like he's just making life miserable for everybody man you know and people are trying try to act and pretend like everything's okay no you know Esau's fucking out everyone's life <laughs> all right fucking out everybody's life man you know but you know you're happy because you got a fucking iphone or some shit it's fucking radiating your head, <laughs> you know, <laughs> killing you slowly, <laughs> you know, making you ill and shit, whatever, man, Esau's got to go, so, you know, with that, um, I'm going to say Shalom, Lord, when this is edifying, and I'll catch you brothers and sisters on the next video, man, so, next time, I say Shalom.